what's up my beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title today I'm doing some roasted radish along with some baked salmon yes baked rosemary salmon guys this tastes so good come along with me let me show you how I make this delicious meal and I have it as a Mother's Day dinner or lunch idea. skin on it so I have two pieces here so I normally check to make sure there is no scale on it so you know I always check to make sure okay so there's no scale on it No scale. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the salmon, guys. I'm gonna cut in two. juice on it. Okay guys, so I'm just going to rinse the salmon off. Alright, so guys, it's time to season the salmon. Just wash the board off and then I'm gonna rest the salmon right here to get it seasoned. Wash 
what I have here is lobster base so I like to use the lobster base and seafood so I'm using a little lobster base on it the base okay so now I'm going to put some green season Over. On this other side, I'm going to put a little bit more lobster base. I'm just going to base it. Okay. Here I'm going to put some complete seasoning. And I'm doing it the same way. Flipping the fish. So it can be seasoned evenly. And this is some roasted garlic and herb. Some garlic powder. This is some black pepper. Guys, a good thing with salmon, you don't have to season it too far ahead of time. Yes. That's the thing with, you know, I would say seafood. The season they're going to penetrate through it. All right. So I did that. Now I'm going to drizzle some olive oil in it. Guys, you can put salt if you want. But for me, salt is optional. But you, you can put according to your taste. This is just for my taste and the pambali because the lobster base it is salty so I don't think if you're gonna try this recipe you would need to put salt unless you desire to do that okay so yes so so this is the rosemary so the that I'm making the rosemary salmon so this is the rosemary so it's four pieces so i'm only gonna leave four pieces up here to rest on top okay so that's four pieces up there and this i'm just gonna break up the other pieces to season it up Don't worry about my pretty nails. I'm a wife, not a housewife. 
So don't say Sister Jane in her kitchen with long fingernail. Yes. So I'm cooking for the family, okay? That doesn't mean I, I can wear nails and they're clean. So make sure your nails are clean. All right? Yes, guys. So the salmon is well seasoned. And I'm gonna put it straight to the oven, guys. You can do this on the grill if you choose. Yes. Or you can put it in the oven. So I'm putting it in the oven. So what I do, I, I spray the pan. Okay guys, so we're gonna put the fish in the pan. So what you wanna do is put this side down and the skin up. Okay guys, so the next thing I'll be doing, this is the rosemary. I'm just gonna rest them on top. Yes. So I'm gonna put this in the oven guys. And when we come back, we'll have some baked rosemary salmon okay okay guys so the salmon is ready look at that guys look at that yes look at the salmon guys rosemary baked salmon look at that come out it look Guys, this smells so good. I'm gonna pair this salmon with some radish. And guys, this is a Mother's Day idea. Yes, this is a Mother's Day lunch or dinner idea. So it's baked rosemary salmon with radish and vegetables. I'll see you in plating. There you have it guys, my baked rosemary salmon served with roasted radish and vegetables. I paired it here with some green beans, some carrots, and yes, it looks so delicious guys. It's time to eat. Yes, and this is a Mother's Day dinner or lunch idea. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and comment. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Take care of yourself and loved ones. Be safe. Guidance.